Good afternoon everybody, welcome to sunny Weymouth at the moment. There's some big black clouds about but also there's a bit of sun about so. Um, it's Tuesday morning, afternoon. I keep getting it mixed up because it's only just gone 12. 17 minutes past 12 and I've got my new tripod. A big hefty one this time, so hopefully that's not going to break. Right, I'm just going to put you on there and show you what I've been up to and what I am up to. Right, so I dug my garlic out on Sunday. There were some whoppers there, weren't there? And what I've done is put a bag of horse manure where they were. And I've planted out some parsnips and some beetroot. So they are a little bit wilted at the minute, but they should come back all right. Right, first things first, tie that up. There we go, that's that tied up. So yeah, there's my parsnips and there's my beetroot. And I put a whole bag of horse poo on there. So that's brilliant. Now oh, I'm going to show you my onions because these are the biggest onions. Not that I've grown, but what I've ever seen, ever. Oh, and the size of that one. And that one, a massive. I think that one there might be my biggest one. Not 100% sure, but they're still not ready to fall over. So, yeah, they're gonna need a bit longer. This is my upside down bulb. And I'm sure it's just a normal onion, but look at that, that's hollow. There's no flower on top of it. How come it's like that? Well, I've never seen. I've never seen anything grow like that before. But there's nothing on top of it. So, yes. We'll have to wait and see. See what that turns out like. Right, this is inside my coal frame, and I planted them peppers. Um, but they're not growing for some reason. So, I'm going to fill it with horse poo. I've got a bit in there. Let me just go get some more. Right, there we go. And now what I'm going to do is going to plant my broccoli for winter. And... I'm just going to like use it as, um, oh, you know, as like putting it in cells, whatever it's called. You know, putting it in little pots. I'm just going to sprinkle these around over here and then label them. And then I know that they're broccoli. So that when them other ones are finished with, I'll have new plants. So here it goes. Right, there's, there's a few there, not too many. Right, so I'm just going to... Get in there and do that and then give it a water. Give it a good water. There we go. And hopefully when the other ones, when I pick the other ones, when I harvest them, um, in a short while time they'll be ready to put in their place I'm gonna put some cauliflowers some uh, 
cabbages and some onions and leeks if I've got them. Okay, so I've got some leeks, some cauliflower, some red cabbage, some sweets and onion seeds. I'm going to plant all of them in here. Um, in I suppose they'll be foot squares roundabouts and then I can overwinter all these hopefully all right let's get on it right I've got it all in sections now so I will put I'm missing one there it is so I'm gonna put my onions in that one That in that one. There. All right, let's get on it. All right, I'm going to put some onions in down here. Just sprinkle them in. Not too many. And I'm just putting onion and June when I planted up. I'll go there. There we go. Now, I just watered that that bit there, didn't I, with my watering can. I couldn't find my watering can. I thought, it's got to be around here somewhere. I've just spent, what, five, five minutes looking for it? It's only in the place where it should be. Tucked up at the side of the uh, water buckets. So... Right, this is just an experiment. I'm hoping that they will now grow and they will overwinter certain ones. I don't know, but we'll see. It'll be nice and warm in here soon. Hopefully, they'll start growing and I can either have them for overwinter or late winter um, I know the Swede grows pretty quickly, so I might be having that before Christmas. I don't know, we'll see. But there we go. So I brought on there, planted in June. I know it'll be late June because I pulled my garlic up two days ago. I forgot what date it is and now I'm thinking it's the 22nd. Right, what's next? Right, this is where I pulled the beetroot out. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to get a piece of wood and stand them all up there first. Then I can get into weed. A bit of wood, it's a bit short, but it doesn't matter. So I'll just stick these pegs in. Then it can't fall over. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to weed this now. Right, there we go, that's all we did. Um, I don't know if you remember, but this was topped like up to there and it sank that much. So I'm just going to go get a little bit of horse poo, not too much. As you can see, I have left one beetroot in because that's grown quite big. So I'm going to leave that in. Right, let's get this in there. Oh, that'll do and now I'm gonna plant some of these here I don't like radishes I hate growing them but I have planted a couple of these a few weeks ago in that other raised bed that I made and they've turned out pretty good so 
I'm just going to try and do this carefully. Try not to plant too many. That's the problem with me. I try not to plant too many. And then I plant lots. Right, I'm going to go get some sifted compost just to spray over the top of that. Right, here we go. doing it a bit deeper than I normally do because although it's been raining quite a bit now um, if if the sun comes down out and uh, if the sun comes out and I can't get round here to water it will push through this. It will push through it and the soil underneath will stay damp for a bit longer. Right, I've done that to make contact. Now I'm going to water it. Well, I'm holding the watering can as close to the soil the compost as I can because then it's not splashing everywhere and the seeds should stay under instead of floating to the top that's my theory anyway there we go right what now Right, my carrots are growing well in here, except for all the slugs. So I have to keep um, slugs and snails. I have to keep putting them pellets on, otherwise they've had it. But as you can see, there's big ones, and there's little ones growing. So as I'm pulling the bigger ones, then all the little it's giving room for the littler ones to grow. So I'm not going to add any more carrots in there but I am going to put some more slug pellet seeds down seeds slug pellets down now if you remember I've got potatoes growing in my um, compost heap in the big garden I've also got them growing here and you can see them poking out there and I can actually see a potato just there but that's that's like a mother potato right what else shall we go and have a look at Right, this is a carrot that I grew last year and replanted it here. So these are all the seeds that I'm going to get off. And in the greenhouse at the moment, I've got one of the heads that's almost like coming into seed seed, proper seed. And um, so I'm going to collect some off of that. And then I'm going to collect some more of these. And when I've got lots of them, then I'll just pull it up and put it on the compost heap. There's my sweet corn. That's coming on really well. Some of them have blown over and I tried like holding them up, you know, with bits of twigs and what have you. But it's not working. I'm going to have to get some bamboo stakes, I think, to hold them up. Maybe I haven't planted them deep enough. I'm not sure. I don't know much about it. I've only grown it once before and it was popcorn. So this is the first time I've grown proper corn. Right, you can see there just that I've put um, bamboo canes in just to hold them up. I think it's the wind that's blowing over. And I don't know if somebody can tell me should I have planted them deeper so that they wouldn't blow over like they are. Right. 
What else have we got going on? Like I said, my beetroot down there, that looks a bit sorry for itself, but it should pick up. Um, my runner beans, they, they're not doing too good. I think majority of them at this side have died. There's a couple that's still going. And there is more at this side. So I'm going to have to go and tie some of them to the canes and the rope. Right, it's a bit windy now, sorry. Um, now I've taken all this hay off of here, all the weeds are coming up. So I'm going to have to get in and there and really weeds, weed. And I don't think I'm going to grow um, shallots, well not these kind anyway, anymore because they don't really seem to be coming too much. Some of them are getting bigger, but I'm using a lot of them because uh, they go into seed and I'm using a lot of them as like spring onions because they're going to seed. And now I've got fed up of picking them because they're going to seed. So, I'm going to get in there, in this one. I'm going to get in this one first. Then weed. I've got my, um, ouch. I've got my French climbers here. They're doing okay now. I'm growing some more because I've got a couple of empty places. Oh, another empty place there as well. Oh no, that one's that one's supposed to be there. But yes, yeah, so I'm going to get in here and weed. And I'm going to get in here and weed. So, and it's cloudy and a bit windy now. So from cloudy and Windy Weymer. Oh, look at them. I can't wait for them tops to blow over. I've never, ever grown onions like that before. Never. They're awesome. Right, from cloudy, windy, oniony Weymouth, I will bid you all a goodbye. Bye-bye.